Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and it sounds like we got some trouble brewing out over in Quebec. That's right, David Icke's War on 5G. We're on day 28 of his war, and we are on day like 50-something or other of the pandemic, so that's just how she goes. Now, the biggest uh, war for 5G has been fought in the UK, and they have about 77 cell phone towers being burned down, let's face it. They have the high score, but Quebec is trying to come up and uh, take over. Man, if there's one group of people that you do not mess with in uh, in Canada, is definitely the Quebecois. Man, those guys will mess you up. Anyways, let's take a look over at the action going on in Quebec. Two people taken into custody, remember that. Here's the video, let's go through it. While I read you the news. Now, for those who think my voice is too sexy, I'll leave a link in the description so you can see it without me uh, talking over it. Quebec, but Quebec Provincial Police have identified two suspects after a 6th and 7th cell phone tower has been d burned down in Montreal region where it were set fire. Jessica someone or other, who's 25 years old, and 28-year-old Justin something or other, uh, are taken into custody Thursday morning. Quebec Provincial Police say that the pair uh, have been linked to a series of suspicious town fires or tower fires that have been reported in the region in under a week. In under a week, these guys got seven towers in under a week. They're doing pretty, uh, I shouldn't say they're doing pretty good, but they're being very effective with their time. Uh, they're presently in custody and being interrogated by the investigators in some place or other ctv news said uh, the suspects were arrested at 11 30 a.m following reports to the cell phone towers in in i'm not even going to try to pronounce these names ladies and gentlemen because i feel like uh, i i feel like i'm breaking the heart of of the quebecers when i admit that i cannot pronounce the names of these towns man you guys ever play world of warcraft and try to uh and, and try to tell your friends exactly what town or what area or, or what whatever and you can't pronounce the freaking place and you, you all kind of sit around and you're like yeah yeah well i think i know what you're talking about Anyways, one interesting part of this article is that the World Health Organization has, has had come out and said that uh, 5G isn't a big deal. And that's really interesting because that's not what they were saying before. One really interesting part of this is that there are no 5G towers in Canada just yet. Okay, well, not in this location. Uh, 5G is a technology that the cell phone companies are gradually rolling out around the world. It's much more powerful than 3G and 4G predecessors. Yeah, we know that. That's why people don't like them. Uh, many say this technology has adverse effects on health outside of the COVID-19 theory. But the World Health Organization said uh, after much testing, there's no proof of a link between cellular technology and health problems. That's interesting because if you go to the, the WHO, they still have their articles uh, from the past saying that uh, there definitely is a good chance that cell phone radiation will mess with you. If you talk to people in the military who've been trained with the cellular radiation, they will tell you, yes, yes, cell phone radiation can definitely cause cancer, but it does it in such a small amount of people that uh, most people decide, the world seems to decide that it doesn't even matter because of all the healthy benefits that it will give them and when I say all the healthy benefits when I say all the healthy benefits um, what, I, what I mean is 4g will give you cancer 3g will give you cancer and that's what that's what I've been told by people working in the military who work with cellular technology but remember if you don't like 5g ladies and gentlemen don't purchase a phone if you don't like 5g 4g 3g 1g they will all do the same thing to you over different amounts of time if you don't want this stuff if you don't want these cell towers don't be purchasing cell phones don't be funding the man don't be helping him out if you have a cell phone and you hate 5g then you need to get rid of your cell phone because you are funding 5g and normal people don't go around burning cell phone towers what they do is they have peaceful protests. They get online and they talk to each other. And then people with their wallets will say, you know what, we're not going to put up with this anymore. What we don't do is we don't go around burning personal property. But seriously, on a side note, how the heck do you burn something like that down? Those guys must be daredevils to climb all the way up there with accelerant. What the frick do they use? I still haven't found out what these guys are using as accelerant. It's just amazing. 
just to me, because if that was gasoline, it would be out by now. There's definitely something there on fire. And if any of you guys were ever pyros like I was when I was young, you find out pretty quick that uh, it gets pretty hard uh, to make things catch fire on their own, especially like that. And how did they not catch fire themselves? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, don't be burning down 3G, 4G, 5G towers, because a lot of people need that for 911. Um, peaceful protests. We have positive ways of doing this stuff. Uh, you can stop using your cell phone. If we all stop using our cell phones, these towers will stop being built, right? So if you don't like this stuff, stop using your cell phone. Don't be burning stuff down. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits and Texas Aggies here. Have a good one, folks. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. You guys like and subscribe. You guys watch. It means I can get this kid more candy. And we all know how much kids like candy. Actually, no candy for you. No candy for you. Okay. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.